Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech and this is the quick comparison between La Echo La 2 vs Zook Z1. Design always comes down to personal preferences, so there's no point arguing about that. La 2 comes with a unibody metal design, whereas Zook comes with a metal frame with a plastic back panel. Both the designs have their own pros and cons, like La 2 looks more premium but heats a lot while charging, whereas the Zook Z1 looks decently premium and heats less because of its plastic back panel. So you can choose the best one according to your own preferences. On the La2 we have the fingerprint scanner on the back and on the Z1 we have it on the front. Though the performance is similar, you will find that the La2 fingerprint scanner will be much more easy and accessible to use due to its position on the back. Additionally on the La2 we get the infrared blaster to control the television and other gadgets that use infrared whereas we don't have an infrared sensor on the Zook Z1. Camera and display is subjective and something we need to check in person to decide which one is the best. But La2 comes with 16 megapixel rear camera with face detection autofocus and 8 megapixel front facing camera. Whereas the Lenovo Zook Z1 comes with a 13 megapixel camera with optical image stabilization and 8 megapixel front facing camera. Most probably La2's camera will outperform the Zook as it is a fairly new camera sensor and the Zook once again has a very old sensor with optical image stabilization. Well, having optical image stabilization is great, but it only stabilizes the shot. The actual quality comes from the sensor itself. Both the devices come with 5.5 inch Full HD displays and they will be pretty good. La2 sports the latest Snapdragon 652 processor with 3GB RAM, 32GB internal storage, out of which you get 25GB for your user apps. Whereas the Zook Z1 comes with a two generation old Snapdragon 801 chip with 3GB RAM and 64GB internal storage out of which you get about 54GB for your user data and apps. When it comes to the benchmark scores and hardcore performance, La2 definitely wins with flying colors. But for a regular day to day usage, you won't notice much difference between the two devices. La2 is definitely better and you will see that it's slightly faster at performing heavy computations and heavy multitasking whereas Zook does a decent job. Gaming performance will be very similar on both the devices. But soon, you won't be able to play all the new games on the Zook Z1. You can still play the old games like Asphalt 8, Modern Combat easily without any problems. Zook would be ready to handle all the tasks you throw at it for a year or two. But with La2, it's more future proof. You can use it without any performance issues for more than two years. Both the devices have pretty stable processors which have no heating issues, but both the devices will heat up while charging. Besides charging, you can expect the devices to heat up while gaming continuously and using the camera for a long time. Zook runs on the Cyanogen OS 13 which is a customized version of Android 5.1, whereas the La2 runs on EMUI which is a heavily skinned version of Android. Like other Chinese ROMs, it doesn't have any app dialer and unfortunately, we don't have many customizations either. Software experience on both the devices will be pretty good, but once again it comes down to personal preference. Some people love the stock UI and some people don't mind using the skinned UI. When it comes to the performance and customization, Cyanogen is definitely better than EMUI. So in this round, Zook has an upper hand over the La2. Currently Zook has some software bugs, like in the lock screen the screen won't respond, you have to reboot the device to make it work normally. Bugs are very common in all Android devices, but it depends on how quickly we get fixes for that. With Zook, you will get updates for a very long time, you will even get Android N or Cyanogen OS 14. And with EMUI, you will get updates but you won't notice much difference in terms of UI because once again, it is a very heavily skinned version of Android. Zook Z1 comes with the 4100 mAh battery with normal fast charger, whereas the La2 comes with 3000 mAh battery with fast charging technology. You can charge the Zook Z1 from 0 to 100 in 2 to 3 hours, whereas you can charge the La2 from 0 to 100 in less than 90 minutes. When it comes to battery life, with Zook Z1, you can get through an entire day on heavy usage on a single charge. You might even get 2 days of battery life on normal usage. Whereas your La2 might die on you by evening. Once again it comes down to your choice. Do you want to use a device you want to charge only once a day? Or do you want a device which charges quickly? In terms of camera and performance, La2 is definitely better. I think these would be the deciding factors for most of you. Charging port. We have a USB Type-C port and we might have to carry additional cable or an adapter everywhere. The question is about convenience over additional luggage. The next thing would be the audio jack. 
Zoox Z1 comes with a traditional 3.5mm audio jack whereas on La2 you need to use an USB Type-C port as an audio port. The company claims that with the USB Type-C port you get continuous lossless audio experience but once again you need to either buy a brand new headset with a USB Type-C port in it or else you have to use the USB Type-C adapter. Once again convenience over additional cost. You will get better audio quality on La2 but I am pretty sure most of you might not notice the difference unless you are an audiophile. Besides that, you would have to buy a new headset with USB Type-C to take complete advantage of this new technology. You don't need to worry about standing alone, we will all be transitioning into the USB Type-C world very soon. You might be there just too early, that's all. The next thing that might be of concern would be the limited storage options. Both the devices don't have any SD card support. On the Zook you have 64GB of internal storage whereas on the La2 you just have 32GB of internal storage. I personally think 32GB is sufficient for most people and for all their apps and offline content. But when it comes to the media consumption, 32GB won't be sufficient. For people who watch videos, play huge games, it might be a problem. An additional SD card slot would have been good. And finally, after sale support. I don't have any personal experience with either of these devices and no one paid me anything to say good or bad about these devices. But I heard good things about the La Echo or the La TV and bad things about the Lenovo's after sale support. So rest is up to you. If you have any personal experience, do let me know by commenting below this video. Besides these differences, on the La 2, we get the La Echo membership for one year which offers various online content like movies, music, live television and cloud storage. So guys coming to the final verdict, on the whole Zoox Z1 is a pretty decent phone for people who want a customized Android experience with a massive battery that will last you a complete day on heavy usage without any problem. Whereas the La 2 comes with the latest hardware and tech with some significant changes. I think Zoox Z1 is more like old school, more usable with the 3.5mm audio jack and the La 2 is all high tech with the USB Type-C port for charging and audio. And coming to my preference, I am a performance junkie so I would definitely choose La 2 over the Zoox. With all this said and done, what would you choose and why? Do let me know by commenting below this video and I'll catch up with you on my next video. Until then, as always, keep smiling.